One day from work, Peanut had used the whole bottle on his power wheel. This stuff's mad expensive. Yeah. 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 Uh. I've been up for a minute, now I'm down for it. I've been good with the team, never bad for it. I'ma work for the winner, never slack for it. And I live for the king, I got a crown for it. I know the way, ayy. Know the way, he really is the way. He the way, ayy. You can follow me, ayy. Know the way, ay, never been afraid Cause we know the way, ay, ah, ay, ay, ain't no shame in the way See me smile, I don't hide the pain in my face Oh, no, no, give my all, I'm raising the stakes People try to beat you, but we ain't in the race, ah, ay, gotta believe there's still an open door if you don't see it Just as long as I know my purpose, I won't lose it, I can't leave it I get knocked down all the time, it doesn't mean that I'm defeated I'm going through changes, through changes West, grace, know my place Yeah, I made mistakes, but I didn't stay Kept the faith Alright guys, welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventures Peanuts is in the house right now I'm out in the Honeycomb Hideout I just thought about doing a little quick video for you guys Give you an update on what's going on with us, what we're doing um, One update is, Peanuts started kindergarten yesterday yeah, we happy with that. He's happy to be in school. Happy to be able to board the school bus for the first time because in pre-K, uh, he didn't board the school bus. But yeah, man. And also, we appreciate all the support uh, that you guys been uh, providing the uh, YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate it. We're humble. And we're going to keep on trying to get some content going for you guys and all that good stuff. But as you can tell, I'm in the Honeycomb Hideout. I'm going to give y'all a little update on what we've been doing out here in the Honeycomb Hideout. Oh, man. I like the wind's blowing. At least they cooled off a little bit. And um, let me turn you guys around. Hold on. Let me see. All right, guys. First and foremost, what I've been doing is uh, polishing, waxing, and, and signing the cars up. It's been long overdue. As you can see, this is GNX 548. I got her glowing. You know, um, I use Jack's Wax products. I used a new product that that's new to me. Let me see if I can grab it. Uh, let me show you guys. I'm using the Jack's Wax Cherry Wax right here. That's the finishing product. I'm also using, on GNX 548, I use some scratch remover on it too because we got some fine little scratches that you can see really, really good in the paint. Uh, what else? Sometimes I use this too. I need to order some more. Believe it or not, Peanut, I came home one day from work. Peanut had used the whole bottle on his power wheel. This stuff's mad expensive, but you know, I couldn't be mad at him. He was only re repeating what I do. So, uh, what's the other stuff? Hold on, let me go see if I can find it. Another product I use right here, uh, a little Jack's Wax of Wine Shine. I use that. All right, let me see. I'm giving y'all a little look at, um, this is old Zelda, she's gleaming. So yeah, that's old Zelda, I got her looking pretty. I'm not done with her. I did the, um, the hood, the top of the car. I still got the windows to do, and the trunk, and this quarter panel right here. Oh yeah, the rain is coming down. I don't know what I did with that part of the car. Oh, here we go. Hey, hey. Hey guys, give me one second, be right back. All right guys, I'm back. Sorry about that, the rain was coming down hard. Let me give you all a little look with the rain, man. That rain now, look, sun is out. But the rain was coming down hard on us. But all right guys, what I, was, what I have been using, all my cars, even my daily drivers, which I'm gonna order another bottle of this. I got this off of Amazon. This is a 3D eraser gel, water spot remover. This stuff works. Great, as you can see on both of these cars here, uh, removing, especially on that car, it was so much water spot build up on it. So it got it all out, as you can see. You know, it's an easy product to use. You just don't want it on, on your uh, paint or your clear too long. I, I left it on there no, no more than two minutes. And then after I, I you know, you, you spread it on, and then I wiped it off with another uh, microfiber cloth. I use microfiber cloths on everything. 
and I got a bag to wash them. I got to wash those uh, today too because I'm running out. And uh, and I used the microfiber cloth to do everything. Came out great. You can even use that product on glass too. So, uh, you know, it's a great product, guys. I highly recommend it. And, you, you know, you guys leave in the comments on the products that you use when you're detailing your car, please, because I would love to know because I'm all I'm open minded when it comes to de detailing and uh, I'm actually still learning detailing. Uh, funny story, funny story. As you can see, I got this Craftsman box here. Look how much dust is built up on it. It was my old, it was my old buffer from like 2000 that I had purchased when I was in station in Germany. I used it today for the first time in over 20 years. And so I'm happy it came out great, as you can see, and it sped up the, the process. Man, I got bugs and everything. You know, it sped up the process. That paint is so smooth. You know, I'm like, man, I should have been using that buffer a long time ago, but I had burnt through some paint in my younger days messing with a buffer. Or either I left swirls in the paint and I, didn't, and I just ran from it. So I was doing everything by hand for years. But now, as you can see, all that, this trunk, like I stated earlier, the trunk, the top I did, and the hood. You know what I'm saying? Now, one thing I did mess up on, and I'm gonna order some new ones, and I'm gonna show you guys. Watch this, this product around your emblems. Cause I'm gonna order some new ones. I'm not too mad about it, but, but my emblems, man, it kind of like discolored my emblems. So I'm gonna order some new ones. It's not a big deal. Man, this is all type of dirt. Where did dirt come from? Hold on guys, you know I gotta wipe her off. Man, it ain't dirt, it's like dust. I gotta wipe her off, I don't like that. One bit, one bit, one bit. And I got another surprise guys. Hold one second. All right, tomorrow morning I'm heading out, me and the wife. Uh, Peanut's gonna be in school of course. We're going to look at down in um, Suffolk, Virginia, we're going to look at a 1987 Buick Turbo T. Uh, the guy is giving me a great deal on it. It's a T-top car. So I'm going to uh, look at it, see, um, see if I like it. But you know, I'm going down there with a truck and trailer. So tomorrow's video might be me, the journey on going down to Suffolk, Virginia to look at this. 1987 Turbo T. You know what I'm saying? So I really want the car bad. Uh, and already gave me the blessing. Yeah, the blessing. To uh, to go ahead and get it. It'll be number five in the fleet. Um, I got a, a rebuilt motor. Rebuilt, um, what's that called? Transmission, courtesy of Steve V Automotive out of uh, Elberon, Virginia. So, you know, the car is going to be running. Me and Pino are going to get it running. That's what we do. We're going to bring it in the Honeycomb Hideout and get right, get busy with it and get it running. Uh, very last thing that we'll do is uh, the paint and body work on it. But my goal is to get the car running tip top shape, uh, get the interior right in it. So tomorrow morning, we will be heading out. I took off from work just to go see this car because these cars are becoming, as we're aging, even more rare and more expensive. So, you know, this um, person I met at the car show uh, Saturday, you know, he told me he was thinking about it. He texted me two days ago and said he thought it over. He's ready to get rid of it and I'm ready to take ownership and ready to restore it back to its glory. I love saving these cars. As you can tell, I love saving them. I love saving them, y'all. These cars are my passion. My passion. Yeah, I'm just giving y'all a little, a little thing, um, a little view of it. So, you know, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. So hopefully I can get a video going with that. Uh, and, you know, and I, guys, I appreciate the support. Leave your comments, please on any recommendation on products for detailing uh, or processes that you use to make your car shine, look good. Uh, we're open ears. 
because what I'm learning, I'm going to teach Peanut. That's just the way it is. I'm going to teach him how to do this stuff, how to detail his car and whatnot, you know. But hey, guys, thank you for the support. Peace.